Hi, I'm Gray McDaniel, VP Corporate Accounting and Global Hardware Controllers here at Oracle. Today, I will be sharing with you how Oracle Tag ERP helps finance modernize and continuously innovate. When the choice for ERP systems was on premise, Oracle eBusiness Suite was one of the most popular solutions. But the ERP has evolved into a SaaS model, and Oracle Fusion Cloud Enterprise Resource Planning has become the market leader. Oracle Fusion Cloud ERP provides one complete solution for users of Oracle eBusiness Suite, empowering finance and operations to continuously innovate and outpace market change all with a cost of ownership that's up to 50% lower than on-premise ERP. Here are four reasons why Oracle, just like our customers, upgraded from eBusiness Suite to Oracle Cloud ERP. It offers one comprehensive solution that provides you with a low total cost of ownership and a single source of truth for data. Oracle's integrated yet modular architecture allows you to deploy what you need when you need it. A modern cloud platform, which provides your enterprise with automatic quarterly updates, a modern user experience, and real-time reporting. It has built-in intelligence that helps your organization work smarter and faster by using the latest technologies, including artificial intelligence, machine learning, digital assistance, and prescriptive analytics and it has powerful configuration and automation tools that gives your team more time for strategic work by automating the most time-consuming mundane business processes. With AI, up to 96% of transactions can be automated. When we thought about how to reimagine finance at Oracle, we had three key objectives. The first was to drive towards infinite scale by eliminating human intervention in our business processes creating transaction processing that has no incremental cost as transaction volumes increase. Secondly, we wanted the tools to make the smartest decisions. We achieved this by curating real-time reports and analysis, leveraging AI and machine learning, focusing on the insights we're learning for that improves decision-making for our business partners. Lastly, we do these things to provide better interactions with finance for both our customers and our employees. There has never been a more important time to be in finance. Using our data-driven insights and enterprise-wide view into operations, we can help Oracle and Oracle's customers navigate through uncertain times and achieve better outcomes at any time. Let me take you through our transformation objectives. First, we wanted to drive business action we focused on automating manual work like data gathering so that we could use digital intelligence from embracing our cloud technologies and capabilities to influence business action. Next, we saw there was a real need to become much more predictive with our planning activities and really help the business to see around the corner at the range of possible features. Finally, we realized we could use our analytics capability to drive action plans and become a strategic top partner to Oracle's business. That means improving decision-making through data-driven approaches. Implementing our cloud technology and benefiting from all the automation as well as the new features it continuously offers has helped us become agile enough to deliver on these transformative objectives. In the past, we have business make decisions based on rear view analysis and reporting. Today, our finance team is a proactive contributor to the business and influencer of innovation and growth, providing real-time updates with context as well as recommendations. The power of cloud applications is that they provide more value with every quarterly update, helping companies keep up with customer expectations that are evolving at a faster than ever pace. Organizations must continuously transform or risk being left behind, but it's important to have a plan so you can take advantage of the innovation. 
Here at Oracle, we're no different than our customers. We're using Oracle Cloud to improve our customer and employee experiences, but we reimagined our application deployment methodology to get the most from the stream of our new features. We followed a four-step methodology we use for managing quarterly updates, which has helped us to add an average of 100 new features every quarter. Oracle's IT and business teams evaluate new features to prioritize the uptake of those that improve the user experience and productivity. The teams collaborate on the strategy for the uptake of new features and go live, including operational changes resulting from user experience improvements, as well as communications to impact the teams and users. Regression and user acceptance testing are conducted on key flows to ensure systems continue to run smoothly and new functionality works as intended. New features are enabled on the go live date and to ensure ongoing success, teams continuously track user feedback and plan for improvements in future updates. As we made this important move from on-premises to cloud, we drafted a blueprint that established an early foundation and helped us realize quick wins. We applied a phased approach based on three core principles. First, we established a foundation with Oracle Accounting Hub, which is a consolidated general ledger. Next, we looked for opportunities where we could deliver immediate and incremental value to our businesses surrounding core on-premise applications with high value functional cloud applications like Oracle Marketing Cloud and Oracle Talent Management Cloud, which gave our businesses either new automation or improved efficiencies. Then we looked at our core systems to upgrade them in logical steps, replacing the functional requirements, including Oracle HCM Cloud, Oracle's ERP Cloud, and Oracle SCM Cloud. This was not just a technological transformation for us, but also a sociological and cultural change too. We focused on three major pillars, technology, process, and most importantly, people. Upgrading the technology was the foundation of our transformation, simplifying the tools our, our employers, employees use and giving them the very latest and greatest applications. In the controller's function, Along with Oracle ERP Cloud, we have implemented Oracle EPM Cloud to automate most of our statutory and regulatory reporting with narration capability, saving hundreds of hours. And within business finance, Oracle EPM Cloud and Oracle Analytics Cloud have replaced various on-premise solutions, which were supported by thousands of additional spreadsheets. Equally as important, though, was our second pillar of transformation the rethinking of process to strive for operational excellence. We totally reimagined our processes to simplify and standardize them across the business and supporting functional teams. We focused on what was really important for the business, discarding historical activities that no longer added value. We reimagined what simplified meant and standardized structures between regulatory reporting and management and segment reporting, as well as all other functional areas. Last, but most importantly, we focused on talent, our people. We focused on developing our people to ensure they had the right skills to really become the team that the new, new business environment and technology requires them to be. The greatest outcome was seeing the learning and growth in our team, changing the role of our team from data gathering and reporting to a role of having influence in key business decisions based on improved financial insight as a true business partner. With our cloud, we no longer are dependent on and constrained by five-year upgrade cycles. Those upgrade cycles were long and complex and required a lot of planning and customization, and they lacked a meaningful reporting solution. Now that we're on the cloud, we benefit in a huge way from quarterly updates. Every 90 days, hundreds of new features and functionalities are released. We simply uptake these new offerings and that speed of change enables us to be ever more agile, working with business partners and no longer distracted by long IT upgrades and projects. Each quarter, our tool set is enhanced with the V3 
features which are released. Many of these features have been developed from feedback received from the large user group, not just within Oracle, but the feedback received from our growing customer community. We are continuously looking for opportunities to take friction out of our processes through automation that is often the result of the adoption of these features. And this helps us to reduce errors, cost, and improves quality. And we ensure that the benefits of new data insight, faster and more accurate processing is always outweighing the disruption of change. With our implementation of the cloud, we have gained significant operational efficiencies and additional capabilities, enabling us to augment our value add to the business and enhance our relationships with our business leaders. Our employees are now much more productive and energized with new purpose. They're spending less time on administrative tasks and more time on value add activities like helping our customers understand the power of our cloud applications. The business is able to access in almost real time the insights they need to make the best decisions. With the quarterly release of additional features within the cloud products, we are able to develop new capabilities we never imagined when we started this journey. We can quickly adopt and scale to address new business challenges. Within the increasingly complex and uncertain business environment of today, our roles in finance are more critical than ever before in providing ans insightful analytics with a range of possible future outcomes at a speed that allows you to navigate the challenges ahead. A unified cloud ERP and EPM provided us with an opportunity to completely redesign our finance processes. It starts with a single data source across diverse lines of business, including HR, sales, and finance. It continues with integrated systems that automatically tie out, as well as a global chart of accounts. And that all comes together to make Oracle the fastest company to close its books and report earnings in the Fortune 500, reporting an average in 10 days. And there's more. We provide real-time reporting at a global, regional, and local business unit level. Using cloud, ERP, and EPM together enables our parent ledger and local ledgers to be automatically updated, and we use narrative reporting to prepare our financial statements. While we close our books in a faster pace, we were also able to complete all of our analytics, produce automated reports, including reconciliations, financial and operational KPIs, and complete the guidance forecast cycle in preparation for our earnings calls. A huge part of our Oracle at Oracle story is sharing the many lessons we've learned along this transformation journey. First, it's important to set the right foundation. That involves both technical planning and business engagement. For the latter, it's critical to secure senior executive mandate. From there, regularly engage and train teams and create vehicles that help enhance their learning. Implement with the end user experience in mind. Adopt a risk-based phased approach to implementation and be on the lookout for new opportunities for process improvement which more often than not means reducing complexity. And as a best practice, go live in the first month of the quarter. Finally, keep in mind that change is hard. Continuous change requires continuous innovation. There's a lot to consider when you move to the cloud and the detail and orchestration involved. But if you keep your goals in mind and remain focused on agility, flexibility, simplicity, and the future proofing of your business, the way forward is cloud. We're here to answer questions and offer further lessons learned as we continue our own exciting journey of innovation and continuous improvement here on Oracle Cloud. Thank you for joining the session.